All right, so we're here with the Medicare coach, Larry. And Larry, we're getting a lot of questions today about penalties, about do people have to join Medicare? Um, and if they don't, when do penalties apply? So can you kind of help us understand how all that works? Okay, well, I think the first thing that we have to think about is there are about three different periods. Mm -hmm. Most people who come into Medicare will come in during their initial election period. And what that period is, is three months prior to turning 65 is when you would come in if you're coming in the Medicare. Yeah. You don't have to if you're still working and you work for 20 or more in, uh, in a employer with 20 more employees. Got it. And uh, that way you could, you could not have to enroll in Part B and keep working. The other time, the, the what's most confusing is when people hear the 10% penalty. I get that all the time. Somebody calls and says, hey, I'm still working. Do I have to come into Medicare? And I don't want that penalty. Mm -hmm. The penalty only applies if you're not able to keep working and, and are in a, in a legitimate plan and uh, if you just don't do it. So I would call it the... Uh, a person who just says, oh, you know, I'm not going to enroll, I'm going to wait. Well, after eight months during that period, you could enroll and you don't do it, and then you want to come back and enroll, there's a penalty. It's a 10% penalty for every 12 months you're out. But what's confusing is that I had this happen to a client, uh -huh. didn't know this, and so in the mid-year, he was thinking, oh, I want to get back in Part B. Well. The client was like in June, he had to wait till January through March is the general enrollment, but the, his B, Part B effective date didn't start till July 1. So it's kind of a mess and you don't want to get into that, that penalty situation. But there's a big difference between that and not enrolling if you have a legitimate reason not to. So it sounds like a lot of these companies sending mailings to people that says, you know, you're going to be penalized, don't get penalized. It really only applies to people who have more or less zero health insurance or have health insurance from a company with less than 20 employees. Correct. Otherwise, Otherwise be, don't dis disregard it. So yeah. if you have, a, the, the main thing to remember is if you have a legitimate reason, mm -hmm. you want to keep working and 20 pl employees or more, uh, you don't have to Perfect. sign up for a B. So Thanks. that's that's helpful. Again, I think people are getting scared because of all of all of these threats I and know. penalties. And on the websites that talk about penalties, and it's not always completely um, well represented in, the, yes. in these types of. Yes. Well, even on the Medicare, I went to the Medicare website and dealing with Medicare every day here in the last 15 years. Uh, it's confusing the way they put it. It says most people will, it, it implies that there's going to be a penalty. Right. And, and then in the little, if you read below, it finally explains this, what I just explained. Yeah. That it should come right out at the top. Perfect. But that is the, one of the most misunderstood parts of Medicare.